Hey everybody, it's Matt Wrestling with Whiskey back again. Today we're taking a look at another of the many store picks that are out there in this great country. Uh, this one is going to be coming from Joseph Magnus. Now these guys make uh, several different things. They make this a single barrel pick. They have their Joseph Magnus bourbon. They have a cigar blend bourbon. Um, they have the Murray Hill Club uh, amongst various other expressions. But they have been putting out several single barrel store pick picks. Uh, now, the last time I had one of these was from Binnie's here in Chicago, and it was a Tennessee source product, so you may know that that is from generally known, although you can't technically say, Dickel. And uh, Dickel's a very polarizing uh, distillery. Some people really enjoy it, a lot of people find it very off. Um, but either way, they're very big, they do a lot of business, they do a lot of uh, sourcing for smaller uh, companies doing single barrel selections and things like that. But um, this one is not from Benny's, it's not even from Illinois, it's technically from just over the border to our friends in Indiana from a store called Cask and Cellar in Highland, Indiana. And uh, this one I, I got recommended because I hear it on good authority, is not from Tennessee. And in fact, it says it right here on the side label, distilled in Indiana, which most of our bourbon nerd friends knows is code word for the big guy MGP, who is a huge producer, often sourcing for other companies in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. They are now doing their own products and are sourcing a teeny bit less, but they're still doing it. Uh, but they developed a big, big reputation for some very high quality bourbons, especially their high rye mash bills. And um, there were a lot of companies that were putting out some quality aged stock, including Bellmead, uh, New Riff's former company OKI, uh, Blom Brothers and their Nodder bourbon. All of these things get huge. They got huge uh, reputations online and kind of in the, the groups and the forums and, and amongst bourbon aficionados all over the country. And some of those have started to dissipate a little bit as companies started to distill their own, like New Riff and Blown. And uh, also as barrels got more and more expensive. So that brings us to this. This is a release uh, from Casting Seller, like I said, and I have it on authority from the people who work at the store. This is a 14 year MGP cat strength release. So this is something special. Um, you don't see these around too often. Even when stores do get picked, sometimes a lot of the younger age MGP picks are coming in and uh, not too many of these poking around. So I'm very excited to get into this. So let's do that now. Okay, here we go. This is what we all kind of came here for. So once again, 14 year MGP pick from Magnus, from Cast and Cellar in Highland, Indiana. Uh, they are selling this currently for $105.99. So this is, it is a premium product for sure. But in today's market, where generally people go or anywhere from 10 to more dollars per year age, you know, that used to be the old rule of thumb, 10 bucks per year. Uh, this is well under that price, but then Granted, you see some 12 year picks and everything from, or not picks, excuse me, uh, releases and things like that from some of the bigger companies that, that are much more reasonably priced. However, they also don't quite have the reputation of this. And this is also very typical of Magnus picks. The Magnus pick I had from Benny's that I really did not enjoy was also, I believe, $100 on the dot. So for five more dollars for something that's older and a much has much more of a renowned reputation behind it, I think is actually a pretty decent deal in today's bourbon market. But at the end of the day, the politics of corporate brand names and reputation and online digestible forum thoughts, right, aside, at the end of the day, you pour it into a glass and you do this. Cheers. So if you've seen a lot or uh, tasted and enjoyed a lot of these MGP picks, this is going to be very familiar to you. Ooh, there's pepper uh, kind of hovering over everything and hot damn. 
some really nice deep cherry in there. Um, doesn't punch you in the face with proof, which is nice considering it is 53%. Um, so it's not crazy high, which I like. I didn't have noticed that some of the Madness cast strength, uh, for whatever reason, their cast strength isn't super high. Their barrel proof isn't super high, which I actually kind of enjoy. I don't mind it when the barrel when the barrel proof goes down during aging, because sometimes it leaves you with a nice, very, all the flavor is there from the aging, and it's barrel proof, so it's uncut, but without that punch in the face of sometimes those 120, 130 proofers. Vanilla. Cherry and plum almost. It's really, really, really nice. Kind of deep, full body flavor. I mean, nose. But let's find out about the flavor. Cherry and vanilla come through in almost like viscous, robust waves. And, uh, ooh, okay. Um, a nice, I can't call it a Kentucky hug because it's an Indiana hug. It's a Washington, D.C. company with Indiana source juice. It's definitely not a Kentucky hug, but it is America hug. I'll tell you that much. It's just, it's warming, tingling all the way, sticking around like the middle of the tongue and everything. Um, very silky finish going down for the most part. Doesn't leave a ton on the roof of the mouth, which is usually uh, where I get it, but it's, it's all rolling down the back of the tongue and everything, which is nice. Caramel, almost some champagne grapes, cherry, a um, little bit of like cinnamon clove in there, deep under everything else. That black pepper comes in, like I said, tingling. Now I'm getting a little bit more on the roof of my mouth and stuff. This is really, really enjoyable. Um, great color on it. The mouthfeel is very, very nice, which for me is always big. I like something I can chew on. Um, when things are really thin and watery, doesn't mean there's not flavor, but for me, it just, I like, it's more of a treat to me when I can almost really, almost literally dig my teeth into it. Let me go back one more time, you know, for science, obviously. You gotta do my research. Yeah. It's nice because it's just over that 100 proof, it's 106 proof. Not crazy high, but it's got all the uncut flavor of the barrel proof. And um, it's just really, really nice. And like I said, a rare find in today's market. So this is my why I emphasize the, the importance of store picks and finding stores near you or even if you can get friends to mule them for, for you from certain places that you find. You can find deals like this and you can find certain products. And these MGP barrels, man, they're still out there. And, uh, or even, not even just them, but all kinds of highly aged, highly, very unique barrels that you're gonna get under labels that these stores picked because the owners or whoever's picking has a great palette and great relationships with some of these distributors. And you might find some truly unicorn level bourbons and whiskeys out there for everyday shelf prices and that aren't necessarily allocated. They're just, I guess, technically allocated to that store because they're a unique pick. So please, I encourage you, wherever you live, find out those. And if you live in the Chicago area, uh, Cast and Cellar in Highland, Indiana, just a hop, skip, and a jump over the border. Um, again, $105.99, but 14 year MGP for about 100 bucks. You're all gonna go eat. I'm gonna go get some more. Um, but I encourage you to go try it. And if you see more of these out there, you know, don't be afraid to run over and snap them up, but leave some for me. Thank you.
appreciate you guys as always. Always be searching for more stores, searching for things that find your palate, things that are unique, different than the everyday stuff you can find. And always, always, always be wrestling with whiskey. Boom!